Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Slayer, of course. I'm Chris Chaos with a 411 for SmackDown Live tonight, Birmingham, Alabama, uh, the 9th of January. Uh, I do have to say, I love the start of SmackDown. To me, Renee Young is not featured like she needs to be. She's an announcer, she doesn't... No. I think Renee Young needs to have some kind of, some kind of talk show... Like Brother Love had back in the day. It doesn't have to always be wrestlers. Let's have an announcer have some kind of sit down thing. I think tonight was a perfect example. Like I loved Renee Young's Unfiltered on the WWE Network. Uh, giving kind of a behind the scenes kind of thing. You sit down, you really get to talk. Like it was just entertaining. Like the majority of the shows. I think there were a couple I didn't watch for obvious reasons. Uh, but... Anyway, I like I like having Renee Young doing like a sit down kind of interview segment, whatever, uh, to start off the show. Uh, I don't want to get like the whole Daniel Bryan and and uh, Shane McMahon thing. Like it, it just keeps plateau. Like it's going up. Like it's gonna plateau up, and then the ball is gonna drop. And it's got to lead to a match. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that they let Daniel Russell, Shane McMahon, at WrestleMania. Only time will tell if that's ever going to happen. Uh, Becky Lynch, back in the ring. Look, for me, when Becky's wrestling, I'm all for it. Care who it is. Could be Becky versus a mop. I'm going to watch this. Uh, and she'll still make the mop tap with... Uh, an arm bar, probably. Uh, the Ascension and the Bl Bludgeon Brothers. Look, I have been singing the praises of the Bludgeon Brothers for a while now. I don't think they needed to lose tonight, but I think, and actually, I don't think I know, like, to help the Ascension, they should have made this more of a competitive match, back and forth, uh, where the Bludgeon Brothers finally get really tested. They didn't. Squash Smash, I I don't like them squashing the Ascension. They either need to repackage these guys or just let them go. Like in my mind. I just I, I just can't get over it. Uh Mojo and Zack Ryder. Did they both get new music? Like I don't under I don't really understand that. Like why would you give Zack new music? Are you gonna repackage him? I think it's far overdue for a repackage for Zack, but uh, of course, Mojo goes on. He's going against Bobby Roode uh, probably next week or the next week, whatever, uh, right before the Royal Rumble. By the way, I think Roode and Mahal are going to be the, the two in the finals. I think Bobby Roode probably wins the title, although like a major case could be made for Jinder Mahal to, to be the U.S. champion. Uh, we'll see how that plays out as well, but I think you have Bobby and Jinder. Either or could be could be like great personally for me as a fan I want to see Xavier win it I want to Xavier's been with the company for several several years now I would just like to see him win a singles title I don't think it's gonna happen not not in this scenario I just I, I've tried to play it out I don't see it happen I don't you know you could put Xavier versus mojo but even in that scenario, it it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I feel like the newer, fresher person is going to be the champion. And so you're kind of redoing how you're working with gender, and he's kind of a little fresh. Xavier's the only one that's not. You know, he's still the same old, same old. Once again, glad that uh, the Usos weren't on the show tonight as well as uh, Xavier and the rest of New Day, because you don't have to have the same old, same old every week. Make them special. Make people want to see them. Oh, we're sad we didn't get them. Maybe they're doing a dark match. Who knows? Uh, I'm sure they were all there to begin with. Uh, Rusev and Aiden English and Brizongo. Glad to see Brizongo get a good uh, television win. Uh, of course, this doesn't hurt. The other guys, because you know how super over they are. Uh, and then the main event, I mean, it just was what it was. Uh, Shane coming out, like, let's restart it. 
No count now. Let's restart it. Anything goes. Let, you know, the babies win. Big ups. Uh, Becky Lynch becomes the the final SmackDown uh, superstar to be announced officially into the Women's Royal Rumble. And, you know, I'm just waiting on the shoe to drop. I think that, and I just got this like tonight just thinking about it, I really think that they're going to announce a name, a big name, a returning name, before the Royal Rumble happens. I could be wrong. I could be wrong by... I, I've been wrong several times. But this I really think is going to happen. I really think they're going to drop a name. And we will see which name it's going to be. And it's not going to be like Trish or Lita or anything like that. It could be Beth. Uh... We will see. There will be a big returning name, I think, announced before the Royal Rumble. Uh, just to get people excited about who else could possibly come back and have a spot in the Royal Rumble. So, uh, it's just more and more excitement builds for me. Like, excitement galore building for this first ever women's Royal Rumble match in a couple of weeks. So... Uh, I can't wait for that. So, until big news breaks or Monday Night Raw next week, I am Chaos. I'm done. I will see you guys in a few. Deuces as always. Chaos out.